Page 187, example number five. This example is a pretty neat example. So in this question, as you read, it says the volume of the basketball is given to us. So we know the volume. And what they want us to do is using that, they want us to find radius, okay? So this is a good example and you can find different versions of it. So maybe in something they can give you the surface area of a sphere and ask you to find radius. So same idea as we would do in this question, but with surface area. Or let's say they give you the volume like they did here, but they eventually ask you for surface area. So there's no direct relationship between them. You would have to take the same path. From the volume, find the radius, like we would in this example, and then use that radius to find um, the, the surface area. Always watch out for units, as in this question too. We probably haven't seen anything like this earlier. This is given to us in inches, but they want the answer to be in centimeters. So there is a one conversion in the end that we do have to do once we find the radius. So the plan is to use the volume formula for a sphere, manipulate this formula so we can get our radius. Once we get radius, we know it will be in inches because that's what is given to us. And then we will convert that into centimeters. It will just be a simple conversion because we're going from one dimension to one dimension. Okay. So first of all, once we start it, we have volume is equal to 4 over 3 pi r cube. Now, in a lot of sciences, what they do is they first ask you to uh, move everything around so that you have r equal to with the formula. You are more than welcome to do that. And if you go into the solution manual, it shows you how to do that. I find that it is sometimes just easier to input your values first and simplify each one as much as we can. So the volume here uh, we know is 433.5. And then we have 4 times pi divided by 3 times by r cubed. So I'm going to find out what this over here is equal to. So going in my calculator, I'm going to put that value in. So that is 4. So I go 4 times pi divided by 3. So it comes out to be that number. So what I want to do is I want to write that down. It's 4.1888. Like I said, if we can keep that number great, if not, then up to four decimal places is awesome. And if any of you know how to store that value, you can easily just go and store that as, store that answer as X so that you can use the accurate one again. It's up to you, okay? So now coming back to here, I found out what this part is equal to. And now I have to move this to the other side so that I can have my R cubed alone. So I'm going to divide both sides by that number because it's being multiplied by R cubed. So R cubed is going to be that number divided by that, the decimal. So it's going to be volume divided by that decimal. So we're going to do that here. So if the volume is 433.5, you can now either say divide by X if you already store it. If not, then it's just fine to go 4.1888. Okay. So that comes out to be 103.4903. So 103.4903. We're not done yet because we need to still solve for R. So R is being cubed here. In order to get it, we'll have to cube root both sides. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and cube root that answer. So cube root is under math, the fourth option. And then I will put that number in 103.4. 
9.03. Okay, you can use more decimals since it's already in front of you, but 4 is okay. Okay, and that gives me my R, which comes out to be 4.69. Okay, and then you can again leave more answers in there, so 4.6949 uh, or 50. Okay. This is in inches, but I would like to change this into centimeters. So you can create your proportion. One inch is 2.54 centimeters, and I have 4.6950 inches. How many centimeters would that be? So I cross multiply. Any method you like, you like simple multiplication if that makes sense to you, you want to do unit analysis if that makes sense to you, you're more than welcome to use that. Okay, so I'm going to take that 4.6950 times by 2.54 and it gives me 11.9253. Okay. centimeters they want it to the nearest centimeter so I only want to this point right here and this is greater than 5 so that becomes 12 centimeters so I have my radius at 12 okay so to ask a question with the same question where it, instead of volume if they give you surface area is given and then ask radius would be totally fair okay so Please do your homework on this section and good luck on your exam.